Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you something really, really cool. Something that you've probably only seen on TV or maybe when you're driving by it on the highway, but you've probably never seen the inside of one. And I have gotten to stay in one the last couple of days and I said, you know what? I can't keep this to myself. I have to show everybody in Memphis how special this thing is. Now you're probably thinking stay in, maybe he's talking about a hotel. I've stayed in a hotel before and I don't see hotels driving by on the highway, but this is really, really cool. I'm gonna show you what it is and then we're gonna take a tour of the whole outside and the inside of it. You guys ready to see what it is? I'm gonna turn around and it is a full RV. This is what I mean, a recreational vehicle. It's like a big car that you can stay in. And we're gonna take a tour of it today. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the RV outside and see all the things that it has on the outside because the outside is really cool. First of all, when you buy a truck, okay, like a pickup truck, you buy like a F-150. 150 and that means that's really powerful sometimes if you need to carry things far you get a 250 so first of all look at this this is a e450 that means that this engine is huge okay that's like first of all second of all look at this it has an awning so you could sit outside and my friend joe who let me stay in his RV. This is his RV. He owns like 20 of these and he gives them out. This, he rents them out and gives them out. This is his setup that you can hear there's a train nearby. He set up this table for outside so that because of COVID and, and Corona, and we're careful to make sure that we stay away from people, I could still have guests and be socially distant from them and not get sick. Okay, and then you have this awning here to make sure that if it rains or it's too sunny so it doesn't get but here's the coolest part watch this if you're sitting outside here and if it's nighttime there's lights look at this what do you think this is i have no idea looks like maybe a place to store something or something like that but watch what happens when i put my key in here okay oh do i have the wrong key i think this is the right key a little Patience, patience in Hebrew is savlanut. No, I was just putting it in the wrong way. If you turn the key and you open this up, look what you have, a television. That means that, well, let's open this up like this. That means that you can sit outside. Look at this, I'll move back so you can see it. You could sit outside on this table and watch TV outside of your RV. How cool is that? Okay, then let me show you something quickly before we go inside the RV. If you come around here, first of all, there's a cool ladder that you can use to get on top, okay? And then, see this? This is where the RV is connected when you're not driving it, because you can drive it places, and you know, obviously, then you're not connected. But this is where, like, your electricity and your water is all connected here, so that you can shower and you can and you can turn on TV and lights and cook. You'll see it all in one minute when we go inside the okay, RV. Now we're ready to go inside the RV. So here's the door. We're gonna open this up. And first of all, look at this. There's a screen door here, so that you can close the screen door, and when you're inside. You can have like the air from outside come in. It's really nice. Okay, then we come in and let's start from the front. This is where the driver sits when you're driving the RV. Okay, now look at my friend Joe, who's such a static. He got me an electric scooter in case I want to go around. These are a lot of fun to ride. Okay, then up here on the top of the driver, there's a ladder. You take the ladder to go up and this is like a couch area where you can sit and read and talk quietly with your sister or brother or friends. And there's a huge TV here, and this TV comes out, and you can watch TV from the whole RV or just here. Obviously, you can't watch while you're driving because that would be dangerous. And then, over here is a table where you can sit. You see my talus and tefillin are here and my svarim for when I learned Torah. And there's a table here, and if you look, the table has seat belts for when you're driving to stay safe okay and then there's a kitchen 
right? Just like your kitchen at home, it has a sink and a microwave and a stove and an oven, okay? And all different things. And you can have all of your dishes and things like that right here, okay? Then on this side, look, we're gonna go around. There's a couch and the couch has a place you can put this down in this way you can have a drink right there and the seats and the, the foot part comes up and you can relax and then over here there's the refrigerator okay with a freezer as i see my friend joe got me all this food that i could have he's really nice and then over here is where the kids sleep i don't have any kids with me right now so i don't need it i put my suitcases there but this is a bunk bed now look what this has you know, like a bunk bed, I don't want a bunk bed, but look at this. Each bunk bed has its own television. So if you like television, this is the kind of bunk bed that you like. Then, over here is the bathroom. Nothing so special about a bathroom, but it has a shower and a sink and a toilet, obviously. Then if you go in here, push this open, this is where, the, where I sleep, this is the big bedroom. Okay, and it has a place to put your clothes and a huge bed, its own TV. There's like five TVs here, okay? And then you have a closet where you can hang your clothes and stuff. And this is the inside of an amazing RV. It is so cool, do you guys see? Let's move back so you guys can see the whole RV. How cool is this? I wanna show you two other cool things about the RV before we finish. First of all, do you know how some people have to have a big house and those houses take like so hard to clean because it's so big and you have to like hire people to help you clean it? Well, an RV is like the same thing. So sometimes you get to have a smaller RV, RV like this one, okay, which is very easy to take care of. And then some people have a huge RV like this one, which takes a lot more care. It's like a house. Some people have bigger houses and some people have smaller houses and they're all okay. But then next to the RV in the park is a lake. Because you can park your RV right next to this beautiful lake. Look at this. Now I gotta show you one quick thing. In this lake, I was here on Shabbat, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the day, these massive lizards come out. They're not scary. They're like four feet long. They're huge. And there was like 15 of them walked out of the lake and came and like started eating snacks here. And on this path, the whole day, you can see people walking here. And let's see, I can see across the lake. Let's see if we can zoom in. Do you see there are geese eating there? Do you see family of geese and ducks eating there? Looks like there's a mother and her little children eating there at the lake. And that is today's tour of an RV. Hope you enjoyed.